Hello everyone and welcome back to Georgia Paper Crafts. This is Amber and today I am fortunate to be a participant in the Paper Crafters Unite Against Racism video hop. I am doing a card today featuring this wonderful digital download from Reading Farm. Here is a look at what it looks like when you go to their website. Um, it is free for download and um, here I printed it out onto um, just some Bristol Smooth cardstock, which is my favorite kind of cardstock that I like to use for coloring with either my Tombow markers or my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. So I printed it out using my laser jet printer, not my inkjet printer, because if so, the ink would uh, bleed when I put a little bit of water to it. However, if you print it out using a laser printer, you will be able to. Uh, not have any worries about the ink uh, running. So I decided I wanted to color this in using my Tombow markers. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos or if you'd like to see any of my videos where I've done this, I, I really enjoy using these markers. They're really easy to use. As you can see here, they blend beautifully. What I do is I lay down some color. I use just a touch of water on a, on a paintbrush and I pull it out and it smooths it out and make it makes it look really really vibrant so what I'm doing here is just going along and um, coloring in these images this image here made me think of myself and a co-worker uh, a wonderful lady that I work with who has these beautiful dreads uh, just like this and um, she just is just a ray of sunshine to work with and um, I love this saying, we stand together, um, and that, I think, goes for everybody and everything. And so that's why I really like this image and why I chose to uh, color it in. So I'm going to just put on just a touch of music and let you watch me color this in, and then I'll be back and we'll talk a little bit more.
so after I finished coloring it, I decided I wanted to cut it out because I don't like how it had that uh, gray image or square behind it. So I decided I would just cut it out along the line, leaving no border, just the right along the black line. And I'm going to spare uh, you my slowness in doing that. So once I've cut it out, I'm going to take my Memento Tuxedo Black marker and go around the edges. And what this does is it just kind of makes the cut edge look so much neater. You don't see that white edge anymore. And you, you can't see all the maybe small mistakes that you made when you, you cut it out or, uh, you know, it just tr trims it up, makes it look a lot neater. So um, I'm going around every edge that I made a cut line on and just kind of going around and filling around those sides with the the black just to like finish it up, finish it off now i'm going to bring in my gap graphic uh, marker this is the marker i like to use whenever i'm trying to trace over things uh, that are black or need to be fine detail and i'm just going over the eyes just trying to make them stand out just a little bit more i'm not sure it made a huge difference um, because i think the black ink from the laser printer uh, it was fairly dark anyway, but um, it might have made them just a little bit darker. So I'm doing that and I'm also going over the words, we stand together. Now, as you can see, the banner I did in a rainbow color, and I did that for a reason. I support all um, LGBTQ people. They are humans just like everyone else, and they deserve the same rights as everyone else, no matter uh, their sexuality, their race, their color, their gender, their creed. I believe everybody deserves to be treated fairly and equally. Our differences are what make us each unique human beings, and if we just love each other instead of hate each other, this world would be a much better place. All right, so moving on to continuing to make this card. You can see here I pulled out my Paintbrush Studio color uh, stripe die and I pulled out some assorted glitter cardstock, 11 different colors, and I've cut those all off screen and I'm just kind of laying those down in the rainbow pattern. So that die was nice enough that it cut out a bunch of different stripes, all the same length strip, um, so as you can see, it makes it very easy for me to put them together. So I'm just starting out with a A2 size uh, card base, white card base made out of heavyweight cardstock from my stash. And I'm just laying these down. I'm just putting them in rainbow order. And of course, I have a little bit of extra room, so I'm going back and starting with the red again and uh, putting that down. Um, and what you see here is that once I put this this orange one down here, I really don't have enough room at the bottom for this um, goldish one. So instead of adding that, I decided I would just cut off a little piece of the cardstock or of the um, little piece of the card just to kind of even it up a little bit. And then see, I'm going to do this. So it's the, the card the finished card will be slightly smaller than an A2 size. Because I'm going to cut off probably just about an uh, eighth of an inch there. Now the image I had backed with a uh, piece of black cardstock, and I cut that out just to give it a black edge. I know you can't really see it that well, but it does help kind of pop that image off a little bit more. And I'm going to put some foam adhesive on the back. And I like to put a little bit of glue on my foam adhesive. This helps me, give me a few minutes to kind of put it down and maybe wiggle it around until I got to get it into the place that I really like it. And then I'll push it down and I'll just come back in with my white gel pen and kind of do some highlights. A little bit of uh, further additional highlights onto the to the image. I decided because there was so much glitter in the background of this uh, card that I would not add any further embellishments. Usually I do because I love uh, gems and uh, rhinestones and all things like that, but I thought it might be too much with this one. Just making it simple, 
just two uh, girlfriends hanging out saying we stand together and on the inside I am going to pin a sentiment here and you're going to see that in just a few minutes. I'm going to bring in the sentiment from the Simon Says Stamp uh, stamp set, um, Stronger Together. And this was one of the uh, stamp sets from their card kits uh, a few months back. And I'm going to put it in my Misty. I'm going to get it all lined up here. And I'm going to take my Versifying Claire um, Nocturne ink, ink that up, and stamp it down. Now, luckily, I got a great stamp with that, so I don't have to stamp it twice. And again, that saying says we are always stronger together. Here is a final look at the finished card. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video during this uh, Paper Crafters Unite Against Racism uh, video hop. Um, I will have a link down below with the next person in the hop. I hope that you will stand up against racism, and I also hope that you come back to see me for another video. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.